a journey of home renovation and maintenance. Welcome to Maintaining 18. Previously, the heating element failed and rendered the water heater inoperable. Some water heating capacity was regained and enough to run at least one shower and the kitchen sink simultaneously. It has been about a week and the new heating elements have arrived and Kofi now has some extras. Coming up, more power to heat water and the heater peas in a bucket. The broken heat element is being removed from heat exchanger L4. This severed element kept water in the pipes. This heat element was originally in heat exchanger L1. The deterioration was so bad it severed while being removed. The heat element in heat exchanger L1 is being removed to be replaced with a new heat element. Take note of its position before removal. The heat element was originally in heat exchanger L4. It is about three years old. There is some slight indications of wear. This is the brand new heat element. It comes with an O-ring, but the O-ring is not pre-installed. The O-ring is placed into position on the heat element. Before installing the heat element, the O-ring is lubricated with water. And in the heat element goes into heat exchanger L1. A tip. Position the heat element as it should be once installed. Then screw the heat element in. The final position will be very close to the starting position. The heat element in heat exchanger L3 had some signs of damage. It will be replaced but kept as a spare The heat elements were reinstalled and the wires reconnected. With new or newer or functioning heat elements, the next step is to remove any scale buildup remaining in the heat exchangers. This is a tankless water heater descaler kit. There is a bucket, hoses unnecessarily colored but acknowledged. A grit guard, a pump, and a liquid descaling solution. A five gallon bucket opener came in very handy. Advertisements seem to always dress in their Sunday best. The blue hose is connected to the cold water service valve. Ensure washers are properly positioned or there will be leaks. The red hose is connected to the hot water service valve. The water heater flush kits come with a descaler. Caution! The descaler comes with the kit can be different than advertised. The instructions can therefore be incorrect. With a gallon of descaler, two to three gallons of water will be appropriate. Quick note, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. The water source will now be the bucket via the pump. The blue hose is also connected to the pump's discharge outlet. The other end of the red hose remains unconnected and is inserted into the bucket. The red hose was not staying in place and with water pressure in it, it could get messy. Descalers are nasty chemicals, which can cause caustic burns. A clamp fixed the problem. Descaler and water solution will flow into the cold water service valve through the heat exchanges, exit via the hot water service valve and back into the bucket. The bucket will be the water source and the discharge. The pump has no on off switch, Plug it in and it goes. 
Fantastic, the descaler has done its work. Now it's time to flush the descaler solution out of the heater with water. I'm gonna need you to pee in the cup. The unit is now put back in normal operation by resetting the positions of the cold and hot water service valves. Before powering the unit, turn a faucet on, set it to the hot water setting, allowing water to flow through the heat exchangers. Do this for about a minute. With the heater out of operation for a short period of time and then put back in operation, it will feel a little different. It will feel as if the heater is not performing efficiently. Give it a couple days. And with that, the day is one.